The time has finally come as the official security patch for the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7 is now available in the form of the December security patch and the first major feature drop update for the Pixel 7 series bringing a list of new features. We're going to take a look and see what's been fixed and also what these new awesome features bring more life to the Pixel experience. I'm sure the first thing you are wondering is what Pixel devices are eligible for the December security patch for 2022. For now, it's available on both the Pixel 7 Pro and Pixel 7, all three Pixel 6 devices being the Pixel 6 Pro, the Pixel 6, Pixel 6a, the Pixel 5, the Pixel 4a and 4a with 5G. So if you have any of the above mentioned Pixel devices, then you should begin the OTA update pretty much now as of the first Monday of the new month. Speaking of the OTA update, the size of the update is roughly 471 megabytes, which as you know, will take some time for it to download and install. But stick around to the end of the video as I will show you the full ADB manual install process, which although the full OTA update file is as large as around two gigabytes for the Pixel 7 Pro, it's a much quicker process than waiting for the OTA update to be available, especially if you're eager to get your hands on all the new fixes and features in the latest update. This month's December update is a major one for the Pixel 7 series and based on the changelog for the feature drop update, there are six core areas of additional features and improvements for the Pixel phones and three core additional features and improvements for the Pixel watch. Let's start with the Pixel phones and of course using the Pixel 7 Pro as the device of focus with the Pixel 7. Google have finally enabled the included VPN service by the Google One. Although this has been rolling out in the past few days, this is an included VPN service available on the 2TB or higher plan for Google One users at no additional cost. As many of you know, a virtual private network is a great way to protect and provide a secure online connection when connected online. This is definitely recommended when using an unsecured network connection like on public Wi-Fi services and you will need to download the Google One app to access this feature, which will also give you a quick toggle in the drop down menu. Next is clear calling. This feature is found in the sounds and vibration section of the settings menu. Once you find the clear calling feature with the toggle to enable it, this feature is meant to make it easier to hear the other person on the phone call by reducing background noise and enhancing the sound of their voice. How well this will work is yet to be determined, but if there's anything that will help and improve call quality, then this feature is still very much welcomed. The voice recorder app has seen some nice additions with the recorder speaker labels. The recorder can now transcribe recordings of multiple speakers by labeling each one and adding line breaks when the speaker changes. This really taps into the power of the Tensor G2 and the Pixel software experience and takes what was already a class leading voice to text experience to a whole nother level. At the heart and center of the monthly security update, the security and privacy settings have been refined and given a revamp with a new unified hub for reviewing your security and privacy settings, risk levels, and other information all in one place for better management. This includes new action cards that notify you of any safety risk and helps provide easy steps to enhance your privacy and security. This new dashboard might not appear straight away even for the OTA update, so just bear that in mind. There is also a nice new collection of wallpapers that have been added to the curated culture section. This is in line with celebrating International Day of people with disabilities and the wallpapers have been illustrated by Morgan Harper Nichols with the design featuring a mix of people, nature and a showcase of great artistic colors all around. Now, the changelog does state that in January, spatial audio will be coming to the Pixel Buds Pro when connected to a supporting Pixel phone device. If you didn't know, spatial audio enables audio head tracking for an immersive surround sound experience. Although these feature drops are mainly focused on the Pixel 7 series, some feature drops stated in the changelog are also available on previous models like the Pixel 6, which should be getting cough and snore detection located in the digital wellbeing section in the bedtime mode when enabled. Limited to just the Pixel 7 and Pixel 6 series devices, live chat translation in messages apps is coming to more regions and languages, including Arabic, Persian, Swedish, Vietnamese, and Danish, which makes it an even greater way to break down language barriers. Let's move over to the Pixel Watch, which was announced back in November 
there is now a Fitbit sleep profile, which will give you a deeper sleep analysis through Fitbit Premium's sleep profile feature on your Pixel Watch. This is basically a more advanced sleep tracking tool and provides users with a monthly sleep animal avatar and better analysis of your sleep to find ways to improve it over time. If you wore your Pixel Watch to bed for 14 nights in November, you will see your animal avatar appear in this update. Pixel Watch users will now be able to access a suite of new tiles for their devices, including weather and contacts with easier access to important information with one swipe. Although coming soon in 2023 for added peace of mind and safety, the Pixel Watch will be equipped with full detection, which will contact emergency services if the Pixel Watch senses you've taken a hard fall and are unresponsive. All these added features in this major feature drop update really adds to the value of the Pixel experience for Pixel phones, Pixel Buds, and Pixel Watch improving and getting better over time without the need of waiting for the next major OS version update and in the end, aids for a great end user experience. Now for the fun part, for those wanting access to the latest monthly patch to install and use straight away without waiting for the OTA update to arrive or for some reason or another, not getting the OTA update pushed to your eligible Pixel devices, then this ADB manual install process is the one for you. For this process, I'll be using my Windows 11 desktop PC. Step one, you will need to enable developer options on your Pixel device if you've not done so already. In the app drawer, scroll down or type in the search bar for the settings app. Scroll down to the about phone section and in there, head right down to the bottom where you'll find the build number. Keep tapping on the build number until it says you now have access to developer options. Head back to the settings menu and above the about phone is system. As you scroll down, just before the reset options are the developer options. Now in the developer options, scroll down and enable the USB debugging option toggle as this will enable your PC to recognize your Pixel device ready for ADB install. Step two, head over to the developers.google.com forward slash Android forward slash OTA website, which I will leave in the description below. This is where you will find the full OTA update file for your eligible Pixel device with the latest monthly patch. In this case for the Pixel 7 Pro, I have the unlocked model and you will see the code name Cheetah in front of the Pixel 7 Pro. Download the correct file needed for your eligible device. Be aware of your data allowance and ideally download on a Wi-Fi network with unlimited or enough data allowance. Step three, plug your Pixel device using an available USB port on your PC, ideally a USB free speed port and above. Allow USB debugging when the pop-up appears on your phone and be sure to change your USB preferences in the drop down to file transfer for the option at the top. Step four, now you need to set your Pixel device into recovery mode, ready for ADB install from the full OTA file downloaded. Load up the command prompt app on your PC, then type in ADB reboot recovery. Make sure there is a space between ADB reboot and recovery, then hit enter. It should then restart your device and take you to the no command page. Once there, press and hold the power button and then press the volume key once. Once in the recovery menu, use the volume key to navigate down to the apply update from ADB. Step number five, head back to the original full OTA file downloaded and rename the file to OTA underscore file dot zip. Place that file in the correct directory, which in this case is the C drive in the users directory folder with my name, Ben. Step number six, now everything is in place in the command line type adb sideload ota underscore file dot zip again make sure there's a space between adb sideload and ota underscore file dot zip and then hit the enter key the install process will then begin with a percentage progress in the command line app showing you the progress of the install once completed press the power key in the recovery menu to reboot into the main operating system if all the steps are followed, then you have successfully installed the latest monthly patch using 
the ADB process. And there you have it, your overview of the December security patch with the latest feature drops for your eligible Pixel devices. If you found this video useful and made it to the end, then make sure you hit that like button, subscribe for more videos like this. If you've got access to the latest December patch on your Pixel device, let me know what your experience has been so far in the comment section below. And that's it for me, Ben from Lover of Tech. Be sure to stay safe and I will catch you in the next one. Peace. Thank you.